Hello and welcome back to me, myself and I playing The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, if I press this button. And then this button, we get to do an Azazel run, which is basically what I did yesterday. But this time we get to compete. Right, let's, let's not die then. Let's see how well we do after a cider. Please die, thank you. Not too well so far, that room should not have taken that long. Oh, rubber cement. Now the thing about that is that it does actually... It never used to synergize with Brimstone, right? It just did nothing. Now it does something, but with Azazel's Brimstone... Ooh, that was close. Um, I, I, I'm considering maybe it's not that worthwhile. Now I have seen it happen. Um, ooh, I knew that would happen at some point. I'm just doing these strafe shots, which eventually lose sight of where a spider is actually going to go. Whatever. Excuses. Um, it can synergize quite nicely with Azazel's Brimstone, simply because... Wow, you just ended your own life. Uh, because... If you bounce it off a wall, you can get an extreme range on it. Like the full range, if it bounces back off the wall. I'm not sure if that's a bug and whether it's been fixed, uh, but it does work. So we should do this, definitely. Not really what I was looking for, uh, but I think we'll take rubber cement. You know what? We're not going to re-roll it, so we'll take it. Yeah, it still works. Perfect. Did we still get a range? I think our charge time has gone up as a result of that, which not something I was counting on happening. Wow, well, careful. Good. We need this key for the next floor. Um, ooh, we need this money, so maybe we want the key for this floor. Hmm, no, we've only got 14 cents. Uh, we didn't find another one in a fire or a poop, so... That was me testing my pop filter. Poop. Hope you're all happy with that. Right, let's try and get some speed up, because if we don't do boss rush on this, it's going to be embarrassing, to say the least. Does this work? Yes. Come on then. <laughs> Lol. Alright, cool. This may be the way we deal with most rooms because of the range thing. Uh, I think I explained this on the what I called the Christmas bonus, where I just did an Azazel run for the shit of it. Um, it is careful. The range thing that usually causes problems with Azazel runs because you're gonna get close to something, it's gonna explode in your face. Uh, like apparently, they're having the beam, so okay. Uh, and the charge time thing can be a problem too, apparently. So we're going to want to pick up... Oh, that's a boss trap room. We should do this. Yeah, we should do this. Uh, we shouldn't have done this. We could use the full card to get out, but... There's only going to be a couple of bosses, and they're going to be reasonably easy. Let's fart on the... Fart on this gurgling here, because if we can, we should. I think that's a reasonably decent philosophy to... <laughs> well done. Yeah, walk into pin. Well... Uh, apparently after a cider or so... One tends to walk into pin. That was a, a victory trump. In case you're wondering. Wow, what happened there? I seem to extend it somehow without bouncing it off a wall directly. Okie dokie then. Uh, we should fight the boss now, why not? It's Fistula. This is the boss that ended our run yesterday. Um, we're going to find it a bit easier with Azazel for the, for the damage, basically less opportunity to get royally owned. But with the range thing, again, you're very likely to be in range of the bomb flies when they go off. It's just something you have to get the hang of, apparently. Ooh, not so great. So, we weren't able to take a deal with the devil anyway, because we only had three spirit hearts. Unless one of these is, um, uh, balls of steel, maybe. I suppose the diarrhea is not what I'm after. But... Close, close. Speed down, Speed. not great. Well, we got lucky, I guess. They actually gave us spirit hearts, which was unintended, unanticipated. And, wow, these have been terrible pills. Um, we didn't get an item on this floor. Or well, we did, but we didn't get a item room item on this floor, and we did get an amnesia pill, so now we have to figure out where the hell we are and how to get to where we want to be. Much like life. Sucks being an adult. A bomb. I oh, will go in here, because it's free on the way in. We blow this chap up because we can't do anything with it. We get two bombs back and we spend a spirit heart on it. That's fine. Uh, no. <laughs> so, uh, self sacrifice rooms like that one. Did we get an item? No, we can't have done. Can, um, can transport you to the dark room. It doesn't take you straight to the mega second fight. It does take you to the dark room. Oh, we did. What did we get? The bean, of course we got the bean. What am I talking about? It doesn't show up on the right-hand side, you'll notice. 
I didn't fancy going to the shop just now, but I will take this battery uh, because we only have 14 cents. 15, maybe I would have gone in. It's not like I have Curse of the Blind, and I think taking the opportunity to not have Curse of the Blind is uh, wise. Wise beyond my ears. Excuse me. Those, these things are hard. And Retrovision lasts a couple of floors, which upsets me slightly. Good, good, good. Um, you have to spend a lot of HP to get a self-sacrifice room to actually pay out with, the, again, with that, with a trip to... I don't think I need that. Oh, what's it do? Child leash. Yeah, I know. Um, a trip to the dark room. So, unless you have a good supply of HP, Maggie is a good candidate for that. You're basically not going to be... Especially at this early stage of the game. Hello? Oh, spiders. At this early stage, you don't have enough HP, and we skip so much of the actual game in order to get to the dark room. Consider that we are going to the cathedral. So we're at least going to the Isaac fight. So the only benefit we would get is if we found on the cathedral a self-sacrifice room that could cause us to get one more floor out of the game. Which, when you put it that way, doesn't sound such a, a strong proposition. One more floor than everybody else, but you had to do a lot of damage to yourself to get that far. Telepills. Well, glad about it. Let's have it. That can actually get us out of a sticky situation. Obviously, most of the time on the daily, because we're fighting for points, um, something like the telepills is not as useful. I mean, if you weren't fighting for points, you'd skip boss rush, basically. That's the way you tend to do this. Just jump on that so he's taking damage over time. Careful. Uh, but, when we do need points, skipping things is just not an, not an option, basically. We will take this, but we're apparently doing angel rooms. Ah, oh, that's actually really good. We should fight this. It's the points. The points will make the difference. So, try not to get hit too much. And, careful. Beat the shit out of the angel, I guess. We could use our uh, trick here. Look. There we go. Charge time is uh, longer than anticipated for some reason. So, ah, apparently if you're too close to the wall, it doesn't work. So, there's that to consider. My charge time is causing me trouble. Well, careful. Oh, you can kill your own dudes. I'm pleased with that. I'm a fan of that. Please do. Continues to do that. Wow, our damage is poor, actually. This seems to be the tankier of the two. I think that this uh, angel, being as it is spawning the angel fetuses, I think is the tankier of the two. Uh, they do have names, Uriel and Ezekiel. I think. Who cares, right? Tanky angel and other angel. Can you stop shooting, please? Both of you. Careful. Don't take <laughs> waste of spirit hearts that he gave you. That would be uh, pretty cheeky to use those spirit hearts that this angel gave me to beat said angel. Oh, you did that as well. Uh, we'll take it. <laughs> Why not? Um, I really just wanted the points for beating it. I'm not sure whether we got them, at least in terms of profit. We got the points, but was it more points? Who knows? Four keys, I will open this. Well worthwhile. Glad I did that. Nearly opened that block by accident, but we didn't actually open the block. And it's not intent that counts, it's actions. Oh, that could be good for us. It might not be actually. I'm not 100% sure what the Devil Tail does. Demon Tail? I think it causes red HP to be replaced oh, great, with black HP, but um, you're very much less likely to actually get the HP in the first place. So you never get red HP or something. At least not from rewards and chests and things. You still get it if it was going to happen anyway. Uh, BFF could be good here. The chances of us getting a familiar that benefits from BFF is strong enough that I'll take it even though we don't actually currently have one. And that was a good payout from that Tinted Rock. We might as well do this room because every extra room... Oh, great. Uh, is that much more damage that we take, so... Yeah, glad I came in here. This is a pretty poor room, of all the rooms that it could have been. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, no, 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 no. I want this. Although our spacebar item does not remotely benefit from it... Luck upgrade. That was a, that was a very lucky poop. Don't know if you've had those. Um, try not to, you know, 
shout about them when I do get them. Where did my full card go? <gasps> Nine lives, though. This is a very strong item right now. Reason being, all it gives us is nine lives. Um, it doesn't take anything. Normally, it would set your HP to one. The better time to take it would be when you had no HP at all. But, you know, not losing... Oh, seriously. Look, they don't fall apart in the time that one of my brimstones takes to fire, which is actually quite surprising to me. It took me a few goes to realise. We'll open one of them. Jeez. So we'll open one of these to see what we get out of it, but... Uh, it wasn't actually all that brilliant for us, as it turned out, because it just spawned another bloody chest. If we get more uh, keys, I will come back in. Oh, well done. That was a really... Oh, jeez, this guy as well. I'm trying to avoid opening the rest of the chests, so I'm limiting my own... sort of zone of... Oh, fuck it, I'll open this one. Oh, brilliant. More keys. That's exactly what I asked for. More key, Vicar. Dave's listening to me for once. Really need a range upgrade as Azazel. It's, it just becomes untenable over time with enemies like this being so very likely to do that short... That one, yes, thank you for demonstrating. That short jump that hurts like shit. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt like shit, everything hurts the same amount, but... You really don't want to be close to this particular Joker. We're okay, though. Hello? Thank you. Well, we took a lot of damage just now, but we do have nine lives. That's not really an excuse, but I'm sticking with it. We could buy a Spirit Heart very likely. Taking a lot of damage, going quite slowly. But I want to be cautious enough that I don't actually completely ruin everything by accidentally walking into things and taking particularly stupid damage. Also, things that are not dying quite as fast as I'd like. Um, I know that Zazel was... Still nerfed to some extent. Eh, yeah, Trellet is, is okay. Still nerfed to some extent, but not to the extent that he got nerfed temporarily. But nevertheless, a nerf still happened. Let's take you out like that. Wow, what happened there? That was pretty cool. <laughs> In the corner it bounces off diagonally. I like it. I do like it. Let's try this then. Yeah, that worked well. But it's exactly what I anticipated, was that the... Uh, long laser would take out things from a distance. I think this is going to be our trick for quite a lot of this fight. Well, this um, this run is to try and use the sort of extended brimstone hack. You know. Hashtag life hacks. Hashtag fucking binding laser hacks. Hashtag fix it, Edmund. Hashtag please don't. Seems that it's good, provided that we can get something out of the shops from now on. We're on Cave 2, which gives us two more shots uh, in the game. I'm sick of not using this thing. <laughs> Fart at random. It's okay. We all have such problems. Gastrointestinal issues not discussed. Because they're disgusting. Yeah, brilliant. I want to recharge this thing because it's weighing on my mind. I'm just going to try and catch up with some time. Oh great, a Gurdy fight. That's exactly what I need to try and catch up on some time with. Careful. Woo. I want to get close, but not too close. Like many relationships. Like life. This is a very, um, a very appropriate clutch, I don't know, analogy for, for adulthood in The Binding of Isaac here. Of course, it's supposed to be a Sort of a biblically. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. We've got nine lives. This is amazing. I'm going to take. Uh, I want this. And I also want this. Oh, it didn't switch. What? Why? Why are you no change? Well. Go back in. Well, let me take it. This is outrageous. Edmund. Tyrone, fix it. Let's even get an HP upgrade somewhere randomly in this floor. That'd be trans... trans transcend... I don't know what word I was thinking of. It's, <laughs> what do we do? Help. I need to get an HP upgrade. Like, now. I need a pill. Anything. Something that will let me take this final item. What am I going to do? There's nothing in the shop because it was greed. Oh, no. Oh, let's kill ourselves. Yes. Aha. Then we will respawn with an HP. We can die with it. Hit me out. 
not completely going off my rocket just yet. We'll die. We didn't get anything out of that, which upsets me somewhat. Yeah, no. Now we can go back, get it, lose another life. Hear me out. Not going completely crazy. And then try not to die. Okay. That's that's the extent of my plan. Don't die. I understand that it may not fill everybody with confidence, but I'm ready to give it a damn good go. There's some cash. Why do this? Because of things like that. Um, if we uh, points, <laughs> this is a points game. We're in it to win it, or at least not come quite so tragically poorly low as we have before. Now we come in here and we take more of Babylon, which kills us. Do we want Demon Baby? All oh, right. Twisted my arm. Take Demon Baby. Kills us again. Got BFFs, of course, so Demon Baby is actually going to do decently well, which, as noted, um, was what I said when we picked it up. So now we just have to continue to not die. I'm not going to do that, because we've only got one key. Be very careful here. I said, be very careful. Not fucking dodge around like an imbecile. Very careful here as well. These things can get you from across the room because you're not paying attention to the fact that the one you're shooting is not the one that's about to shoot you. And all we need now is a black heart, spirit heart, that sort of thing. Anything to just ensure our survivability for that brief period in between now and death. Uh, on our next HP upgrade. So, the coins help. Maybe there's an HP upgrade in the shop. Is there a shop item that gives you HP? Maybe. Is this HP? No. However, I <laughs> don't know how this works with Brimstone. We'll see. Took it. Uh, why not take it, I guess. I'm not even sure how it works now I come to think of it. I'm aware that it, it's a charge of the uptype item and you can tell when it's about to go off. Wow, Curse of Darkness against this background uh, with these spiders is, is really quite difficult. Um, I, I'm aware that in theory you can tell when the kidney stone is about to fire. If that makes sense. But I don't actually know how to. Oh, yes, perfect. <gasps> we we gabbled and we won. This one's for you, Lemmy. Not Lemmy Winks. Just Lemmy. Ooh. Empress. Joker. Diamonds. Take that. Why not? Keep the Empress. It really helps us out. And now we just need to sell this extra HP to the devil on this floor. And we've got our Horror Babylon going on, which will greatly increase our damage and allow these very risky shots that we're doing a lot of because we're a Zazel. All shots are risky. To really have a... Ooh, careful. Um, a good power to time ratio. DPS, let's call it DPS. There's a golden heart, which is good because <laughs> I was kind of worried that they weren't working. I will take this HP. You see if I don't. I'll take this coin key. Coin key. When we lose this heart that is now golden... Wow, careful. We become... Help. <laughs> that happens, okay. This is a very fast mask of infamy right now. Luckily, I can do this. Man, I'm so glad I picked up rubber cement. I ummed and ahed about it for some reason, as though it was not the best idea right now. Because Azazel... <laughs> well, as noted, suffers. Ooh, I hate you. Uh, I'm not going to take them both. Although we did pick up another guppy. Uh, fine. Oh, it's doing it again. Oh, but they must have either nerfed that or it's part of the challenge. I'm not going to do that kill yourself nonsense all over again. We got the guppy item that seemed most sensible. I don't know, actually. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> Won't worry about well. Collect the money. We've only got three minutes to get to the boss fight, so we really need to find it and get out of here. Uh, I'm probably going to suggest that that's a bad idea. Unfortunately, there's no way of... <sighs> oh, okay. Um, Rerolling it. Because I suspect Marks and Brimstone either just does nothing, and therefore costs us some... Excuse me, some points. I'm not pissed, you know. Demon Baby. Deal with it. Yeah. Sorted. Fuck. <laughs> sort it. Sort it out. Come on, son. What do I pay you for? What's this? Question marks. Balls of steel. That's what we wanted. It's probably the... Ah, uh, key. Key, 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 key. Look, I'm going fast. We need to get to the boss fight. We need to get to boss rush or all is lost. 
The die is cast. So, uh, boss, two, two of clubs. Of clubs. Took it. Used it. That was ten bombs for one ability to fly, which seems to me to. Oh, we also have to not die on boss rush, so we're gonna have to do this sort of thing a lot. Wow, creep, creep's really helping out. Yes, we found it. Uh, do we get the item room? Yes. So we're going here now. I'm not going to sweat the fact that this may not be the greatest of ideas. Um. Oh, why did that explode? I'm not quite sure. Was it a Muller boot? What hurt me there? Okay, I have to really question my <laughs> sanity right now. Because I, I don't know why I got hit. Which fills me full of worry. Concern for my own sanity and safety. Going to be doing this a lot. Oh yeah, corner thing. That's actually really useful to sort of sweep the room, I guess. Ah, oh, walks into the... Oh, not, not brilliant. Maybe this will help out? No, it will not. Krampus, why are you here? Again, not actually invited to this party. So not appearing in this film. Why are you here? Let's play this up, see what we win. Ah, uh, nothing. Okay, good. Well, we've got a lump of coal, and... Uh, does this help? Maybe. We have bombs. Let's get in here quick. Spoonbender? Don't mind if I do. Now we do this a lot. Okie dokie then. Uh, remember when we couldn't win this? Yeah, that was just now. Shit's changed, yo. I'm just going to stand here and fire. If you think this is cheap, well, you're welcome to play the daily for yourself. <laughs> Certain things thus, like uh, Mega Fatty over here, Brownie, ah, especially this Fast fa fast Facker, can be a problem. Uh, I believe most things can- oh, I was wrong. I was going to say I believe most things cannot jump over um, rocks. So if I stay on the other side of rocks like this, we should be fairly safe, but unfortunately that doesn't seem to be the case necessarily. Is this, um, why are there two Lokis, please? And where is it? There it is. Just let Spoonbender deal with it. What the hell? Why have I got double shot as well? I don't remember picking this up. I'm not complaining. Don't don't take it away. I'm happy. Let's use the Empress card to get this done faster. Then we can think about the Hush Fight as well. Ooh, uh-oh. We have to be wary of things like this Angel uh, and Monstro 2. Anything that can teleport, anything that can shoot us from across the room, going to be our biggest uh, fears. Anything that's going to... Hmm, it's going to say anything that spawns a lot of stuff. Maybe things that charge us like this. Death uh, is the sort of thing that will spawn stuff in awkward positions. Anything that can destroy these rocks as well. Oh, we can, we're safe here, so that's fine. We're doing a lot of damage, and I'm not sure why. I don't... Oh, you can jump over rocks now. Okay. All righty then. Well, that's good to know. I suppose uh, you live and learn, right? With the extra enemies on the screen caused by things spawning flies. Uh, Spoonbender actually gets a little bit of a buff because, wow, <laughs> everything just died all at once. Uh, what's here? Okay. Because Spoonbender will attack... Oh, jeez, help. <laughs> Attacks itself to flies and things like that. And therefore have a sort of a... I believe it... Ooh, we're done already. And I don't want that, so I don't even need to spend the money on it. Uh, money? Points. What was in here? Krampus. We should do this. Um, yeah, I think Spoonbender has a range thing going on, such that... I want to get out of here now, but I can't. Uh, anything in range of said range, it attacks you to do, right? So if you can convince your brimstone laser to divert a lot, whew, careful, uh, you, you, you basically get a bigger benefit. So more things like flies, lots of things on the screen will cause it to bend around the screen a lot hit everything rather than just some of it. We have uh, Curse of the Lost. <laughs> so I'm going to step into a room and fire backwards and hopefully that will just take care of my entire problem. Whole room just... Don't even... Ah! Good thing we've got nine lives. Or five. That's a pretty difficult room because things are charging me from across the screen and I can't see them. Uh, and they're not dying with one hit which is a major problem. It's not the fact that they charge me, it's the fact that they don't die straight away. Careful here. I'd like to get maybe a couple of spirit hearts if it's all the same to you. Just to ensure that I'm not completely ruined. Okay. 
Okay. Tinted rock. I'm just gonna blow up all the rocks. I'm not even gonna spend the time looking. Nope. We need to find the boss fight quickly because on a room on a floor like this where we can't tell where we're going. Uh, it's ah! I really got confused then because it didn't work. My my firing backwards mad strats didn't. They let me down. Although uh, Demon Baby, of course, is definitely keeping it keeping it together here. Ooh. On a floor where we don't know where we're going, we really need to get there. What? This room is protected against that. I know of it. Like, that's a normal mistake that you make is to accidentally step forward in this room and therefore get hit by that thing. But apparently that's broken as well. Hmm. Puberty. Oh fuck. This is a spirit heart if I don't die. Right, this turned out to be really hard just because of the fact that we can't get hit. And we're not doing a tremendous amount of damage. Ah, and I'm not seeing tinted drops, which is ruining my day. That doesn't really help, given that there's no more shops. I mean, it'll help on the hush fight if we ever make it that far, but we have to not die. Good. This might help. It did, actually. I'm surprised. We're not going to explore this room floor any further. We'll just end it. For saying how quickly we beat Boss Rush, I was kind of expecting the rest of the rooms... The rest of the... <laughs> rooms, floors, you know what I'm trying to say. I expected everything after Boss Rush to be easier than Boss Rush. For at least a while. Box might give us a Spirit Heart. Ah, it didn't. But it gave us a two of spades, which is actually probably going to help, because we do need some... This isn't going to be Krampus, so we'll be okay. Uh, yes. This is a thousand times better than that stupid bean that I never fucking used. Um, the two of spades. Why have I got retrovision if I wanted the two of spades? This will help us because we need seven keys for hush. Which it looks like we'll be able to get to. Uh, and we have three. So one more key and then we're sorted for that. <sighs> Breathe in. We'll be sorted with one more key, because then we'll have eight. Come on now! You know there's time involved in this, you piece of shit. Get on with it. This is pissing me off. I hate these things. There's no way of triggering them. You just have to fucking do it. So we've got our one key. Uh, we should both, we'll probably uh, get some stuff out of these. I think it's worth the... Uh, pardon me? Probably worth the bombs. Probably not worth the bomb that I completely failed to hit with. It's definitely worth the bombs. You do get a few points for picking up a scent, even if you didn't need it, which is nice. Shoot the wall. Sorted. Shoot the wall. Sorted. Uh, I used the key, but I got two out of it, so... Make of that what you will. Shoot the wall. Sorted. Uh, I'm going to get one more charge on this book of shadows, Belial, death. The cool book. Satanic button. Wasn't a secret room. Satanic by bell. Uh, I'm hoping that... Well, I won't do a small room, because that's just as awkward as a big room sometimes. Just that one extra red, black... Mm. <laughs> I, I can either use the correct words for what is happening, or I can cause what is happening to actually happen. Black heart, good. Okay. That one extra black heart could be the difference between success and failure. And this, uh, <laughs> this bouncing rubber cement thingy has turned out to be probably the best pickup of the game because it's allowing us to completely counteract the fact that Azazel's range is shite. Now, how do I deal with this riffraff? Ow! That's why I wanted that to be available to us. We have another deal with the devil, which is decent. Uh, but I don't want either of them, especially since it will kill us. So we'll go to the hush fight. And we'll go down. And we'll use our two of spades before we open anything, because that would be a silly mistake to make her. And then we'll try not to die here, but it's likely that we do. Um, I know that we can use our stand on the other side of the room and shoot backwards trick quite a lot. But it's also going to be bullet hell. Uh, probably this. I don't want to have anything that relies on being hit. Because it'll make me think that being hit is okay. I think this is absolutely an excellent pickup for us. Just checking for tinted rocks, no tinted rocks. 
We don't need to rush anymore, except for the fact that our time is going to be... We're going to be judged for our time, basically. Seven cents for this gives us five bombs. Seven cents for five bombs is fine. I think we get the value. We'll take this and recharge. We'll use this. Wheel of Fortune. Uh, we'll put this here and blow these things up. Good. Puberty. Brilliant. Well, it's going to help us in this fight. We did get Death's Touch. So this fight should go okay. This may even be out of range. Yes. So Blue Baby can't actually hit us from over here. Apart from that one, which nearly did. So maybe I should be slightly less complacent than I am being. You know, once you've seen one Brimstone spoon bender, you've seen them all, you know. Excuse me, can I please be visible? Thank you. I'd like to be part of the game. Uh, concentrate on dodging mostly. If you can do damage to Hush, you should do damage to Hush. But most of the time, not being hit is slightly more important than hitting in return. Oh, of course, Death's Touch makes it impossible to know when we're charged up, so luckily we don't have anything that really nerfs our charge time. I don't think we have anything like Nun's Haber or, or such. So, getting hit is basically no benefit to us whatsoever. I mean, there's no... There's no... Uh, I want to say reward, but... There's no sort of cushioning if we get hit. There's nothing to... There's no commiseration prize if we get hit. However, I am very much enjoying Brimstone Spoonbender. I was being sarcastic, slightly facetious, when I said that when you've seen one spin spoon bender Brimstone, you've seen them all. It's true, but they're all awesome, so what the hell? Are they? Right, continuum shots, we stay over here and just shoot him. Because I don't think they're going to arrive at us. We're on the edge of the screen. going to keep shooting downwards, which is fine with me. Oh. Yeah, it takes slightly longer to charge than I'm happy with, but just stand still. <laughs> uh, we're okay. Good, 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 good. These things should not be a problem. I'll tell you what. Scumming up the Azazel thing by using this Brimstone hacks. I don't feel badly about it. You can try and make me feel bad about it. I refuse to. Oh, Scumlord Altius. Northern Line Strats. No. I'm doing this the only way that I'm comfortable with. Oh, we got hit! Right, don't stand there, apparently. Although we have got uh, permanent polar invincibility now, so I guess... Are we okay here? I think we're okay here. I really hate these because... I don't know where to stand. I thought that standing still was the uh, trick, but apparently it's not. So I'm just going to wait for them to subside. This too shall pass. And... Dance around these, run away, run the fuck away. I think the nice thing... Oh, that was really bad. I think the nice thing about Spoonbender Brimstone is that you don't really have to know where the things that you're shooting at actually are. How is that hitting me? Come on now. Well, we're nearly there, so... It's not the end of the world. It's just it's getting harder. It's the trouble. And we're not going to really be able to do much about this, but we can at least use the... Scumlord Spoonbender tactics to. Oh shit. To try and um, get rid of the nubs. The nubs are the hardest part of this particular round. Because they can really get up in your grill. Shit. As can. Oh, we need to. We need to. Oh. Just die. Just everything die. What? No! Oh, we've got to do it all again because we have nine lives. <sighs> Look. <laughs> we only get to fail twice more. My heart is going like the clappers right now. All this upgrade that we have. I mean, I wouldn't fancy doing this the normal way, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I don't fancy getting in there and trying to hit this thing with... Um, I assume normal Brimstone doesn't actually do any more damage. It doesn't seem to. I mean, I don't think we do any more damage if we hit it directly. So, we're not really benefiting from... We're not, we're not losing out by using these scumlord tactics, but still. It's just taking forever. We should probably throw in some bombs when we get the opportunity. Let's see if we can make that... Um... Oh, not great. Let's see if we can make that armor principle actually work to our benefit. I would like to not be in this fuck fray. 
Oh, it makes me jump because I think I'm not going to get hit. You, if I thought I was going to get hit, I would have dodged, right? Whew. So you do get hit and you go, oh god, I got hit. And you're dead because you've only got one fucking HP. Probably should have saved some of the survivability for the inevitable other rounds, but what's done is done, I suppose. Let's just go over here. The further away we are, I think the better our chances might be. Help. <laughs> Do not like the bullet helliness of this enemy. We probably should have skipped this and done better. If I was any judge, but normally it's not that much of a bother. You can get hit a couple of times. Somehow I've managed to get hit more times than I was really anticipating. Uh, I was anticipating getting hit a bit. It's very difficult to dodge everything that the hus throws at you. Um, but it's really when those... As laser beams come down, you know the sort of torrent of water thing? I assume they're sort of tears, I guess. It's so when those come down and start cannoning around the room like tornadoes. And you have to both hit the damn thing, hit Hush. I guess maybe you don't sort of stop firing, know when to, know when to hold back. It's maybe one of those types of fights where you sort of have to know that now is a bad time to try and hit the damn thing. Because, to some extent, I have to shoot the wall, right? That's my current tactic, shoot the wall. Try and hit Hush in the process, from a distance. But, maybe we'd be better off trying to just hit Hush, right? Avoid, don't get hit, do damage when we can. We cannot afford to get hit by this wave. Which is easier said than done because I have no idea how to avoid such a thing. Ah! Right, one more try. One more try. I wonder what this does. I think it may involve getting hit. Never mind. Creepy bombs wasn't helping. I don't know a way of getting a bomb in there, you know? We can't shoot him in. If we've got brimstone. Oh shit! Well, that's that. <laughs> I didn't even see that happen in 3,000th. Oh, we should definitely know when we can't do hush. And how do you know when you can't do hush, I think is the question. I thought I was in a pretty good position to do hush. We had the Azazel Scumlord Spoonbender Brimstone thing going on. But it was just doing no damage. You saw how slowly the HP was going down. So, staying in that fight was my only way of getting any way on that. And we didn't. Well, <laughs> I'm sad now. But... Thanks for watching, I guess I'll see you tomorrow.